Hi and hello, welcome back. Jana here with a new layout. That's for the Lindy's gang and it, it's for the current March color challenge. I'm a bit late this month uh, with showing you that process, but life is crazy right now. And um, yeah, but here I, here I am sharing my process with you. Um, the color challenge shows some greens, some blues, turquoises, uh, tones and a touch of yellow and I decided to go with a Guten Tag Teal, it's a magical shaker and um, the drop dead gorgeous green, the bling e blonde and the azur sea, sea asters <laughs> I'm sorry and they are all magicals so you can see I already started to play with the colors on my background paper that paper is primed with gesso and I'm just um, playing around. I know I wanted to create kind of a circle with my color so that I can place my papers on top of it. And I don't know what happened, but my camera stopped filming on one point. You will see it. It will happen in a second. And I didn't realize it. So you will just um, see how it's ta-da. Or everything is done. I have just worked um, with the same colors on my background paper. Um, I just added tons of more um, splatters in the same colors. And you can see I worked in a um, pie chart kind of um, design idea here. And I did a lot of um, uh, cutting and looking for the perfect colors. And I have sewed the layers together with my sewing machine. And there are tons of um, tissue paper layers underneath the pattern papers. And I really love how this is looking. It's very dimensional. I distressed the edges. I, um, yeah, I just played around and I really like how this is looking. I have also done some paper quilling with um, white cardstock. You can see these are the white circles I'm adding right now and I totally love how the mixed media is peeking out from behind and I really love um, to add some paper quilling detail details to my layouts. I have done that in the past and I just um, really love how this is looking. And the pictures I'm scrapping today showing my little one in the age from one and a half, I believe. And he was just making some silly um, faces and I totally love him. And um, you can see also the, the, the colors from the pictures are to totally matching my color scheme today. The little monsters I have stemmed, um, I, I, I don't know which brand they are. I totally forgot that right now, but I will check that and I will um, let you know in the description box below. <clears throat> So everything is glued down. I have used tons of um, hot glue underneath the pie chart paper things and uh, underneath the paper quilling pieces just because it's very quick and very easy and it's just my favorite um, way or my favorite kind of glue for mixed media backgrounds. Um, so now I'm popping up my picture with some cardboard underneath um, just because of the dimension from the paper quilling uh, details. And now I will start to finish um, that layout with some more colored thread, um, some title, some stickers, and I will also bring in tons of animal dots later. Um, yeah, just bringing in a touch of yellow and I will also bring in some uh, paper punched stars and I will color a piece of white cardstock with a bling e blonde. I don't know the right name. So I just color it a piece of paper and now I will um, punch out some stars in different sizes um, just for that yellow pop or that pop of yellow. And um, I decided to go with a black um, title just because of the black stamped images and the black frames underneath my um, pictures and the title is Little Monster and I know you would not um, uh, write monster like this but I totally wanted to play with the letters and I love uh, how this is looking with it um, with these um, letters yeah so I'm just finishing the title, Little Monster, a monster, and um, now I'm bringing in the stars. Going, um, still going with the hot glue gun, and um, yeah, I am nearly done. So I will just uh, finish um, this page with the yellow stars. 
Um, and then I will bring in the animal dots and I will link you to the Lindy's Gang forum at Facebook so that you can um, join this color challenge. There is an album f with all of the um, layouts and all of the infos. And yeah, I really had fun with this colors today and I really love how this layout turned out. And I hope you are in inspired to um, make a mess with some um, pretty colors and just have some fun in that crazy time right now. And um, yeah, if possible, please stay at home. And um, yeah, we all need to work with that situation. And I know it's driving us crazy. It's, it's not that easy, I know. But um, yeah, if possible, stay at home and make the best out of this situation and so I will stop talking now and um, you can watch me bring in the last animal dots and that's it for today. Thank you and bye.